everybody! Today we are going to make delicious Korean street snack today. It's called keran pang. Keran, keran is eggs and pang is bread. Just a little piece of bread with whole egg inside. Actually, I had never tasted keran pang when I lived in Korea. But last year, I had a chance to visit Korea. And then this keran pang, I wanted to taste the keran pang because I have a forum on my website. Many people requested this recipe. Mangchi, please, egg bread. Some people call this egg cake, keran pang. Some people call it keran pang. <laughs> so I tasted this keran pang in Myeongdong, in Seoul. After I tasting, I just thought, that, hmm, tastier than I expected. So when I came home, I could make it better. I just developed this recipe, and then now I released this recipe. It tastes good and looks good, so you will be surprised. Let's start. I'm going to use one tablespoon butter. You can make this soft at room temperature, or I cannot wait. I'm going to use my microwave oven. Just maybe 30 seconds. So this butter. Sugar, three tablespoon. One, two, three. And salt, one pinch of salt. And baking powder. One teaspoon baking powder. This is vanilla extract. So vanilla extract is a half a teaspoon. One egg. And then half a cup flour, all-purpose flour. And milk. Same amount of flour, a half cup. Any kinds of milk you can use. And also you can use water. If you don't like to use milk, you can use water. Okay. I'm gonna preheat my oven. So 400 degree Fahrenheit and Celsius maybe 200. Korean Gerampang vendors, they have a special equipment, but we have this small pan. It's a perfect size. The height should be the less than one and a half inch. And also I found it is a baking supply store and you can find this kind of mold. So it's made of you know, paper, but very easy. And then I told you I'm going to make this more tasty. So I will just, I use this mozzarella cheese, cheese stick. This one stick only I can use for three kerampang. I'm going to make the divide into six. Each bread has two pieces of mozzarella cheese. I'm going to brush my some oil. Whisk one more time just before pouring this batter. And pour this each cup, around one third cup. It should not be really too high because it's not going to cook easily. Divide this better evenly. And then this cheese. This is like a pillar. One and two. You guys already know why I'm doing this. Sometimes I found out, I found the keran pang is the egg is like on the like side. So I like to put the egg in the center. That's why when I crack the egg, I'll just try to focus on this area. <laughs> So let's bake this. I'm going to put this in my oven in the middle rack. I baked 13 minutes. I picked this through the window. It's well done. Look at this. Nice. Gorgeous. Okay. Really, really hot. Look at that, wow. Egg is still flowing and mozzarella cheese is well melted. Look at how fluffy. I feel really fluffiness. Very 
as a flip over. Look at that, wow! Look at this, it's like a lava. Awesome. So bread is all well cooked. Look at this, like a sponge. Let me taste. I can't wait, taste. Soft, fluffy, like a sponge, soft, soft sponge. Fragile sponge. Tastes so nutty. Now I understand why my readers kept requesting this recipe. Mangchi, please, egg bread, egg bread. I made it. You can serve this as a breakfast, a snack, or a dessert to make it smaller and make it dessert. If you like a more solid egg, and you cook longer, around 15 minutes. Today, we made keranpang, Korean egg bread. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.